Today we're really happy to announce U Theme Pro 117. It includes a lot of new features and improvements, so lean back and let's see what awaits you in this update. Finally, all footer layouts from our 25 U Theme Pro demo websites are available in the layout library. Since footers are not full page layouts, they require a different visual representation in the library. That's why they are not mixed together with other page layouts and will only show up if you select footer as layout type. Style customizations that you know as small grid dots can now be saved locally just like you know from the layout library. After modifying your style, open the style library and click the Save Customization button. Now give it a title and save. Your saved customization will be listed in the My Customizations tab. As you can see, here is my customization that I called Black. It is saved together with the style that was active when I did my customization. I also have another one that I called Brown. Here, a Copper Hill style was active. Clicking on it will load your customization and switch back to the used style. Of course, you can change this style anytime just like you did before. These days, every website needs a cookie banner. That's why we've added a simple cookie banner that will notify your visitors that your website uses cookies. You can add a link to your privacy policy and ask your visitors for consent. The banner will automatically adapt to the overall look of your website. You can choose between two banner types, an attached bar and a notification. Both can be styled in the style customizer in the section and the notification components. We received your feedback and improved adding layouts from the library. In addition to replacing the current layout or inserting a new layout at the bottom, you can now also insert it at the top. The layout library will remember your choice, so if you prefer one method over others, you won't have to switch options every time. If you're using Utheme Pro on Joomla, you can manage your modules and menu items directly in Utheme Pro. However, up until now you couldn't delete a module or a menu item. We now added this functionality so you won't have to leave Utheme Pro. We extended the max width option for sections and rows. If a max width is set, you will find a new option called Expand One Side. It allows you to expand the width of one side to the left or right. The other side will keep within the constraints of the max width. This feature gives you new possibilities to create even more diverse page layouts. In addition, all media elements received an option to remove the padding on the extended side. As you can see, the slider that was extended to the right now has no padding on the right side. We added a new option called Box Decoration to style media content like images and videos. You can choose between three different styles – Default, Primary and Secondary. A floating shadow replaces the old Box Shadow Bottom option, and a Mask Decoration is only available on specific theme styles. You can modify the new box decorations in the Style Customizer under the Theme panel. We're really happy to announce that we put some extra effort and created three new box decorations for our 24 existing styles. All elements that have an image field offer an option to make SVG images styleable with CSS. Simply enable Inline SVG option and see your SVGs adapt to your chosen style. We have added an option to prevent thumbnail images in the slideshow from wrapping into the next line. If you enable it, the images will shrink so they will fit into a single row. These are the main features of Utheme Pro 117. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the change log. If you want to know what awaits you in the next release, take a look at the What's Next section in our blog post. Now go ahead and take Youth in Pro for a spin. 
And as always, let us know what you think in the comments below.